The Washington Post has stunned the political world by choosing not to endorse a presidential candidate, a move Mary Trump calls egregious. In a fiery blog post, Donald Trump's outspoken niece accused Jeff Bezos of using his power to suppress a much-needed endorsement for Kamala Harris, drawing attention to what she calls a choice between a fairly centrist Democrat and a full-blown fascist. This isn't just about the Post. It's about the billionaire class quietly steering democracy from behind the scenes. Critics have wasted no time responding, with longtime subscribers abandoning the Post and Democratic strategists slamming Bezos. Former editor Marty Baron called it a betrayal, while actor Jeffrey Wright openly canceled his subscription. The decision has ignited new debate on whether billionaires like Bezos should wield such influence, especially with the Post's history of fiercely opposing Donald Trump. This isn't the first time Bezos has been embroiled in controversy, as Mary points out, referencing Amazon's loss of a $10 billion defense contract, widely seen as a response to the Post's anti-Trump stance. Could Bezos really have stayed out of this decision, as some claim? Or are America's elites quietly reshaping the political narrative to suit their interests? Mary Trump isn't mincing words. This election season just got a lot more complicated.